Euro dollar using price and time technical analysis for the week of October the 20th of 2014. Please pause the video and read the video disclaimer. Just want to give you a heads up guys that I'm under the weather, under a cold, but I wanted to do this uh, video just because I've been watching the Euro. Just want to give you my thoughts and what I see. And like I said, take the good and throw away the bad. All right, so looking at the commitments of trader report, we first start out where the money's being lined up. We can see that we had a high here of uh, commercial buying at uh, 211.772, and we had a low of uh, 180, and now they're buying it again, and they're right back up at 206. Uh, in regards to uh, large speculators, you can see that they were sh they were low. The shortest they were here was uh, 165, negative 165. And then they popped 141. They started buying, and on September 30th, uh, they got kind of short 132. And right now they're reporting on their net positions uh, 155, negative 155. So they're uh, they're shorting again. So commercial are buying, thinking that the euro is going to continue pushing lower. Retail's kind of sideways, and large speculators are shorting the euro dollar. Uh, they expect this to be a fake rally and push lower. Uh, if you look at the uh, index, you could see a little more clearly here. They started buying on the 30th, and they're long. Uh, looks like retail is kind of long, looking from this uh, swing low here at, uh, uh, what is 55, and now here they're at uh, 51. <clears throat> and then the green right here, you can see that from the uh, 30th, uh, commercial, uh, I'm sorry, large speculators are selling. So large speculators are selling from the 30th, and uh, commercial are buying it from the 30th. They're just going higher. They're buying it. They're hedging. So that's what we see on the commitments of a trader report as of now. And uh, next thing I want to go is go to my Gantt chart. As you can see, we are, uh, this will be a little tight here. Okay. Using the Andrews pitchfork, you can see that uh, prices pierced through it. Uh, got flushed down, got right back above, and now they're trying to get it back into this channel. So it should be interesting Monday when we come, uh, Sunday night, Monday, if we crack this angle and push in lower, uh, we're probably gonna hit some stops. Uh, these lines right here are uh, stop positions. Uh, so anywhere from this swing low, uh, there's gonna be a lot of stops here at this, uh, 2616 and a lot of stops at the 2594 ish level. Uh, if you're uh, short, there's going to be a bunch of stops at the uh, 2963. So if we pop come Monday and push higher, uh, we're going to probably kiss this high and maybe pop even higher because we're going to hit a bunch of stops up here. Uh, if we go lower and push keep pushing lower and hit this level we're probably going to push even lower maybe kiss this middle channel because of all these stops that are in this range uh dates to keep an eye on 14th was this day right here and the next day 15 we got a pop so my uh, seasonal dates was one day early uh it does happen uh normally it's a two-day window so i knew there was something going to happen i just didn't know um uh, now I know it was going to be a retest of the lows and then shoot up or a nice pop and then fade back down. So that's what we have. The next date is the 20th, which is uh, this Monday coming up. And we've been having an inside day here. Uh, and uh, what is it? The uh, uh, 16th and the 17th, we've got an inside day. So uh, if it's going to explode, looking at, you know, a pop and a short here, uh, it's kind of, it could go either or. Uh, but you know we'll see. Uh, but Sunday should uh, Monday should be a little volatile, as long as we uh, stay above uh, this Andrews pitchfork and the uh, uh, some levels I'm going to show you right now. And another day you want to keep an eye is on the 28th. So let's uh, let's hide this and let's work our way up. Do this real quick. I'm just going to show you what I see. Uh, let's go over here and. S stretch out. So I want to show you these levels. This is from uh, actually let's go one back down. Let's close this. 
This is from the low and uh, pivot high is from May 8th. This is the 75% level. So when we put this low here and we put the, the uh, pivot, we can see that the first target was going to be the 75%, which is at 28.72. They actually went higher to 28.86. So that's your first level of resistance, the 75%. We add the next level, and this is from this swing high of uh, July the 1st. You can see that we have a 75% here. And uh, we have a 75% which we kissed. Uh, we're now, right now, we're failing it at the 27.99. So that's another level you want to keep an eye on. We get above there and above there. We're going to go hit these stops and hit this pivot high. Uh, we work our way up. And you can see now we're from this swing here. Uh, we're at the 50%, which we were holding as of Friday. So this is another level you want to watch. We fail the 50%, the 2747. We're coming down to the 75%, 2623. There's a bunch of stops here. This could push even this lower. Uh, and we might probably retest the bottom again. Uh, that's possible. And we had our last one. And this is from the current swing of the 10th all the way to the, uh, what is this, the 15th high. You can see there's a 50% here. So you got a 50% here, 2747, and a 50% 2692. These are the levels you want to watch. This one has a cluster because you have 75 and a 75 here. These are 50%, so you could probably be chopping around here. You got a 75 and a 25. So this is a cluster right here, and you got a 25 and a 75. These are stronger. This is more resistance right here, as you can see, from the bigger, bigger swing. Uh, we have a 75 there. Obviously, it was going to be resistance. Uh, this go, this is right now being support resistance back and forth. And as of right now, this is support. Come Monday, knock this out. You're going to go test this 26.92 and lower and maybe pop. Come Monday, we push higher. We're going to test this breakthrough there. We're going to hit these stops. And your uh, target will be this pivot high of 29.94. I think that's it for this chart. And uh, the next thing I want to show you is uh, these use our gun of 24. And I want to show you that right now we hit resistance right at the first arch level. And uh, uh, you can see that right here was kind of choppy. This is a possible turn date right here with the uh, X uh, vibrational level. And right now we're trying to hold this level right here. Uh, but it's still looking good because it's still above the one by one. So it's still strong. Uh, obviously every time you hit this arch or hit this X there's always a possible turn and then a possible turn to the upside could be anywhere around here which line up with these dates it could be the 20 it could be the 26 be the 28th uh, it could be the last week of October so we don't know uh, where this is gonna go but as long as it stays above the one by one we'll, we'll be in good track now let's go show you some stuff that I'm seeing this is the uh, Euro 20-year monthly uh, GAN grid, and I want to show you that it's interesting that the Euro final support on the one by one angle, which is the uh, 45 right here, this is the month of October, and it popped and it landed on right there. So that 24.99, uh, very important. Why? Because it kissed the one by one. It's holding that. Fail the one by one, you're probably going to go to 21.32, which is a 50% level right here. And mind you, this is a monthly chart. So this goes back all the way to the uh, this goes back to the uh, 96 uh, 2000 to, to 2000 low all the way to the uh, first impulse wave, which is a 2008 high. Uh, this is a strong, strong level. If it was going to find any support, it probably would have been on this one by one angle. Um, so that's the first thing I wanted to show you, which is really important. Next thing, this is a weekly chart, 20 year, uh, and you can see that we pierced them one by one, and this is from different swing points. You can see that this is uh, from the high of the 2008 of the uh, first impulse wave of the, uh, or the first swing low of, uh, what is that, uh, 2010. That X right here, you see, these are the one by ones, 45 degrees uh, angles which is the strongest one. And right now, uh, for the week, the last week of September, we pierced through it. Uh, the l first week of uh, October, we were dancing around it. And right now, the second week, we're kind of holding it right here. We, you know, we pop up here. And uh, 
this is where we at now right here what is that uh 27.58 when we close so we're kind of holding this angle but that 20 uh whatever this low was of the week was it that 20 uh 26.19 uh held this one by one so that's good to know too uh if you're a, if you're a bull around this level next chart i want to show you of the euro uh is the uh my murray chart and you can see this is from the uh current swing of the uh, 5 8 and the uh, 10 th 3 uh, low uh, you can see that we hit a pivot high of the 2873 uh, this is a reversal point and we've just been chopping around here uh, that reversal point is uh, 2691 uh, so hopefully it, if it's gonna push lower this should hold a possible hold uh, and it if it bounces from there we're gonna retest this and if we retest this and break through it uh, this is gonna be the range area uh, once we get in there which would be that uh, uh, 3059 which is all the way up here obviously you know we gotta test this uh, pivot high but if we get some Momo that might that's probably one of my first targets uh, 3059 where we're gonna be going and you can see this is a 15 the one hour and that's the price action we have right now and lastly, I've been getting uh, questions uh, about the dollar, the dollar. Where are we at with the dollar? Uh, I posted this on my blog. And I don't know if people have seen it, but we're hitting the one by, we hit the one by one, and we hit an arch, uh, Gantt arch right here on the, uh, what is this? Is this weekly? On the last week of the, uh, of September. And we tested it again the uh, first week of October failed and this is where we at right now I'm assuming if we're gonna go and test this again uh, what is this week coming up right here if we test this again and fail somewhere around 86.62 or 86.85 and come back come back now with with Momo then I think this is it but this is what I'm seeing with the uh, with the dollar. We're finding major resistance right here with this arch and the one by one. But if we get above this one by one and blow right through it, believe me, we're going to 90.24 right here. And the euro is going to go lower. So keep an eye right here. Take out the higher the dollar, the dollar's going to 90 bucks. Keep a keep an eye on well this, this is for next year because this is weekly, uh, but I'm just showing you what I see on the dollar. One thing I got an email from someone, um, my accounting system. They said that you know this should probably be the one, two, and this is the long three, uh, third wave, and that you know we're probably going to do a fifth wave. So one two three four and five so if that's true which you know it's possible uh, this is probably another leg to push lower and then to finally end it so if that's the case then uh, uh, if that's the case then we're probably gonna go lower once we take that out then for sure we're going lower as of right now my time and price I see that that 2499 is, is, is a good hold uh, but nothing is guaranteed trading forward so it's just a possibility uh, my trading uh, style with, with these impulse numbers have helped me to find you know a correlation between time and price so that's why I use this system which is not an Elliott so just wanted to show you other views that I see other traders share and I want to share that with you one two three four and five somewhere uh, maybe a double bottom or maybe pushing lower and taking out the 24.99 so let's see but if this is the final bottom uh, this holds then this would be wave you know depending if this is going to push a little higher I don't know uh, it's still early in the game but if this is the first wave then that's wave one we're going to get a fail new low two and then the big one's going to come which is wave three so we're going to see how it's going to pan out you know and these are probably possible dates all right, so next thing I want to show, uh, I think that's it. I want to just cover the dollar and just give you guys a thought on that. Uh, using my uh, uh, other program, let's see what we got here. 
using the free ellipse uh, dates that I'm watching is the 27th the last week of October there's a couple dates on, on my radar we're kind of like grinding here uh, so this is my free ellipse uh, keep an eye on that is there anything else here I want to show let's see no nope uh, nope uh, let's see Thing there, the swear uh, saw saw. You can see that the first impulse here, we had a sell, kind of sell off right there. We kind of got a sell off right there. Uh, Nine twenty fifth, which is the medium point. Thought it was gonna pop there. Got a sell off there, and now we're coming into it on the last week, the thirtieth. So another day you want to keep an eye on. The last week should be interesting. We continue going higher. We could do a pivot high here and then push lower maybe do that second leg so keep an eye on that that could be a possible uh, pivot high that 30th or the 28th 29th 30th using my forward string you can see that it almost kissed this level right here it's, it looks like it's going to be possible resistance you can see how all the waves line up for this nice possible turn and that's after we have this uh, pivot low established uh, you can see that the four is indicating that we're having a possible turn here and it's lining up perfectly. The 15 and mark the high and, th and it's forecasting that it's going to go lower to the uh, last week of the, the month of October, which I, I'm keeping an eye on. That's what I'm thinking. If, if it's but where is it going to push? How low? I don't know. If it takes this low out, then that's going to probably be the way five for the uh, Elliott guys. Uh, but if it has a fail new low, uh, this is the first impulse and then this is going to be the third one and this is the one everybody should get on because it's probably going to be the biggest one taking out this high so let's see how this pans out and the dates we have here is the 28 27 28 29 30 remember the dates I was showing you that I'm watching could be a nice little pop up uh, using the uh, same thing this is a harmonic same thing we put a uh, uh, pulse here high but it kept pushing higher and right here looks like it's kind of stalling and now it's pushing like it's gonna pause the 20th right here the 21st uh, get a pop and then the 29th so two different indicators showing somewhere the 29th 30th uh, it's either gonna be a top or a bottom and then do a move keep an eye on that Fibonacci nothing really there Anything would come close to be in November from this uh, big swing. Is it holding that? Yeah, no, not really. Uh, pitchfork resistance right there. Just kind of really can't really see anything on the pitchfork. Just that it's just finding resistance. It's kind of chopping on this grid. Uh, retracement. It's going to be far enough. It's going to be in November. Actually, de December almost pushing. Uh, November 28th so let's see how that and that's if that hole that uh October 3rd holds GAN fans we cracked through it we come ab came above it and uh, now we're in between these two GAN fans right here this is the last one I, I actually of the fan from the uh, May uh, 8th high and the t uh, July 24 2012 low so this this is it right here weekly I want to show you a pattern we have two weeks that are positive the first week that was negative was the uh, low of October the 3rd. Two, uh, same thing here. We had the uh, 612 low. We had two weeks positive. Is this going to pan out? Third week negative, kind of sideways and push lower. Negative, positive, positive, negative, and maybe push lower. It's interesting to see. Monthly, uh, bar is showing that this is looking positive. Uh, so it's still good lining up with the GAN swing. Uh, the uh, GAN square, uh, we got a date of the, uh, again, October the 30th, last week, for a possible uh, uh, pivot high, pivot low, change in trend, whatever you want to call it. Keep an eye on that. Uh, what's next? Planetary returns. This is uh, from the moon, from that pivot high on the May 8th. You can see that uh, we're finding resistance here and kind of like support here. And uh, the date, the 18th, 19th, which is Saturday and Sunday, 
Oh, well, the markets are closed. So we're going to see what's going to happen. The next day will probably be the, uh, it's going to be November. So nothing really there because it's happening on the weekend. So it's not going to affect, you know, the euro. Uh, planetary uh, equidistant lines, that's using uh, Venus and Mars. Uh, showing support right now of the 2683. And uh, showing for a possible change in trend November. So this is November. Nothing really close for us to be worried about. Nothing on the planetary fans. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, nothing there. The GAN square using the 2008 high. You can see that this is finding resistance at the 2819. And uh, it put a pivot low right here on this uh, cross. Now it's going up. And if something could play out, keep an eye on this. Uh, this cross right here which is the 22nd 21st 22nd let's see and then this uh, grid ends on November you got here the 27th so again something could possibly happen right here the 27th it's a lot of stuff is lining up for the last week uh, of October using the 1 2 8 technique pretty far off this would be in uh, November so nothing really there and uh, using this low right now that we have uh, using the moon uh, geo you got the 28th actually the 29th and then uh, the 31st uh, so last week of October using the moon on this uh, pivot low could possibly bring a pivot uh, or change in trend or pivot swing low here or a pivot high depending how high it goes uh, so keep an eye on that uh, same thing here using this uh, Venus Mars technique I used on the top uh, with this pivot swing high I mean it's early in the game it could probably go higher uh, right here is the 27th uh, 28th so the same thing the last week of October I'm keeping an eye on if this thing pushes lower and right here finds a pivot low and swings higher this will be the third wave could be going higher or if the Elliott guys are correct you know we're gonna push lower and maybe I mean like really push lower and take this old low out and maybe find a, a final bottom uh, the last week you know of October so uh, time will tell cycle wise let's see what we got here um, showing a pause kinda right here the 20th and the 29th and then pushing higher um, this one's interesting. This one is uh, showing a cycle of a pause sideways, and then like the last week of October, pushing lower. So this is going to line up with the Elliott guys, the Elliott wave, wave five that hasn't finished yet. And I'm thinking wave five is already here. So we'll, we'll see how this is going to pan out. Two, uh, two different cycles uh, contradicting themselves. Either either one is going to be right or they're both wrong. Uh, so we'll see how it pans out. The Bradley model showing uh, of a pivot low somewhere around here and uh, a possible pivot high and then pushing lower on the 24th, uh, 28th, you know, or a possible change in trend and then a big huge dip all the way to the first week of uh, November. So let's see how this pans out. Uh, the customized one showing a pivot low here and uh, same thing. October 28th, 29th, actually 29th, 30, a top, or maybe a pivot low. So a lot of things are lining up for like the last week of October. So let's see what that's going to bring. Planetary lines, uh, you can see this is the moon. It's kind of like trending with the moon right now. We're about to cross uh, Mercury, uh, Venus, uh, the sun, and uh, the 28th, 29th. Again, we're going to cross Mars. So that, that could probably be a trigger point keep an eye on that it almost kind of finds support on Mars and uh, finding resistance on Mars uh, so let's see uh, that's geo uh, this is uh, helio you can see it's finding support on Mars this is mercury the Sun it's been holding it uh, this is Venus and uh, this is where we at right now between uh, Venus and this uh, Sun and Mercury and those are the inner planets this is the outer planets and this is Pluto Interesting, Pluto's been resistance right there, and Pluto was support 
right here. And it's been chopping around here. And uh, right now it's at the green, which I believe is Jupiter. I think that's it. Uh, lastly, these are the dates I'm keeping an eye on. The 20th, the 24th, there's a Mercury buy signal. Uh, Mars, the 22nd, uh, buy signal that I have. So I'm going to see how that plays out. And uh, this is uh, another date I'm watching with another uh, technique I'm using. So I got these dates there. Uh, and th I have a possible low just in case, you know, the euro takes out that 24.99 of October 3rd. I'm forecasting if it pushes lower, uh, this could be, don't have the date, but have uh, a price target of the 23.36. And this is if we flush down big time. This kind of locks in with some price and time uh, techniques, uh, but it remains to be seen. So I just wanted to put it there as a reminder for myself. If I see that price hits around there, you know, it could be a possible uh, scalp for me. Uh, this is a time I'm, I'm, I'm trying different things, uh, different calculations and techniques. So I want to keep an eye on this uh, 20th at 629 p.m. So mon uh, uh, was it Monday. Uh, 6.29 p.m. Uh, I'm keeping an eye on the euro. I want to see what does it do around that time. Uh, something's going to line up time-wise time, time -wise within that pivot low and this time. So I'm wondering if we push lower uh, Monday and around 6.29 p.m. we get a pop. So I want to be watching it around time. Uh, if nothing happens, then, you know, nothing happens. I've seen it before. But uh, time is price is, is, is locking in together. Uh, from that uh, October 3rd. So I want to see if, you know, any anything is going to happen. So that's why I have that there. This is blue because the uh, it's a weekend date. So nothing's going to happen there. But I wanted to see if it affects it on uh, Friday. Um, and this is the dates. 20th, uh, 22nd, and the 24th. Uh, and obviously the last week of October, I got a cluster date here. And I got a score out, which is the 28th. So we'll see how that's gonna pan out uh, looking at the Gantt chart you can see this is the dates I'm having an eye nothing really happened here so this is pretty much a dud because it's been an inside day uh, the 23rd right here I have an eye on that's uh, the 315 degree of the circle uh, and the 24th and the 28th lines up with the 99 uh, pivot low hex time same thing 20 uh, the 22nd is the 180 uh, degree from right here. So I'm keeping an eye on that. Uh, the square of 4, you can see it right here. Uh, the th uh, is coming this way. So the 17th, that didn't happen. It was an inside day. So that gets back to 0. Uh, 23, 24, I'm keeping an eye on the 28th uh, with the 8.6 pivot low. Uh, then the 27, actually, you can see that it lines up with the uh, 7 uh, July 1st uh, pivot high and the uh, 30th so these are the dates I, I'm keeping an eye on you can see that the 17th nothing happened it was a vibration level and nothing happened nothing happened at all so the next date I'm watching uh, that's just gonna go all the way to November so November 22nd is gonna be a, a date I'll be keeping an eye on and these are the uh, pivot swings as of now and this is where we close so this is how price is scattered within the square of 9 with the uh, current pivot low of 24.99 and uh, we close at the 27.56 uh, from the 39.92 uh, and you can see that this was a uh, pivot low which is at 24.98 uh, it's the increments of six so it, you know it's off by a couple of digits but that's the pivot low and look it's, it's, squared, off, it's squared out in time right there uh, from the low to this close and this is the high well, approximately the high the high is at 28.86 and this is a uh, high also so that's where we're at I think that's it uh, the last thing is the big picture which is uh, right here it shows all the indicators I use you got a moon coming up uh, right here um, 22 23 so this could probably spike right now it's still strong it's about you know it's kind of about to get a mobile band uh, might taste the test this uh, 20 again and might find support this 2682 just keep in mind the numbers I told you the ranges 
uh, the dates and you can see that the squeeze uh, or the pressure it looks like it's to the upside um, so we'll see how that's going to pan out uh, it's still strong here kind of having a tough time with this 50% level and uh, Tima is kind of just sideways it hasn't changed yet and uh, got a yellow bar so that's good uh, we haven't cracked the 50% uh, on the MMG but got the Momo here but the 50 on the CCI is still negative so kind of spooks me a little bit uh, and we can see that we had a uh, resistance right at the 62.5% uh, right there and that's the 50 so we just chop it around here and we got a hockey stick on the monthly so hope this helps keep you posted on the euro but uh, I'm thinking that maybe uh, we could probably push lower uh, or push higher if we push higher we're definitely going to have to take out that uh, 2887 and if we do take out that 2887 we're probably going to push higher uh, maybe to like the end of the, the week of uh, October and that's just me forecasting uh, we push lower uh, we're probably going to take out you know we could probably bounce or take out this new moon and just push lower and maybe do this final wave five that all these you know Elliot guys are are waiting for, and uh, and then put that low somewhere around the last week of October. So it all depends how this uh, Monday opens, where we at, because uh, we got a big inside day, two weeks, uh, two days. I'm sorry, inside day. Get this big candle we got here, and look at this day, the eight, the the sixteenth, and the seventeenth, and then the eighteenth. If we start getting in between this, you know, it's just going to be a squeeze place setting up and then it's going to explode somewhere. So hope this helps. I'll keep you posted. Happy pimping.